I am Sang. I am Sang. Sang, I am. Do you like green eggs and no ham? I do, but only if they're called Kai Bing. And all that was said by Lao Dr. Seuss. And so it begins the recipe of the Lao baked season egg. Sabaidi Pinang, hi fam, welcome back to Sang's Kitchen. If someone makes you this recipe, then they are truly, truly in love with you. I'm talking about the tedious and delicate Kai Bing Lao baked seasoned eggs. I think Dr. Seuss would love these green eggs, minus the ham. There are a lot of simple ingredients in this recipe, but it takes a long time to make it. So let's go ahead and get cooking. The first part of this recipe is grabbing all your eggs. Hmm, here it is. Eggs, they are so useful in so many different recipes. Did you ever notice that there's no expiration date on eggs, but there is a sell-by date? So for sell-by dates, eggs are actually good after three to four weeks of the sell-by date, so do not toss them. If you really wanna know if the egg is good, go ahead and crack one, and you can use your nose. That's the best tool to sense if you have unpleasant odor in the eggs, then toss it. Also, please ignore this mess. I love my sauces. So what you're gonna do is grab a metal spoon and then tap the top of the egg very, very gently until you see cracks. Once the egg starts cracking, go ahead and start carefully peeling just the top until you can get about a finger into the hole and that should be how big the top of the hole should be. After you have all your eggs cracked, go ahead and grab a toothpick, a chopstick, whatever item that's thin and long, and you're gonna put it right into the egg and swirl it around. What that's gonna do is actually gonna break the yolk inside and it's gonna make it much easier for all the filling of the egg to come out really easily. Once you have all the egg yolk and egg white out in the bowl, let's go ahead and put that to the side. What we're gonna do now is grab a small bowl and you wanna use this to mix all the dry ingredients. Go ahead and add salt, black pepper, garlic powder, and MSG, and then gently mix this together. Now add the seasoning mixture into your egg whites and egg yolks, and on top of that, you're gonna add diced green onions and also diced cilantro, and that's where all the green color is gonna come from. At this point, you can use whatever you have in the kitchen to blend everything together. What I like to use is an immersion blender and put it right into the bowl and then carefully turn it on and try to not splatter and you're gonna see everything just come together really quick and this should take about a couple of seconds and you're gonna see all the egg white and egg yolk become green, beautiful and very smooth. What I like to do is pour this egg mixture right into a liquid measuring cup and that's gonna help me pour all this liquid back into the eggs much, much more easily. So now you're gonna notice that there is a lot of foam on top. So before you pour all the egg mixture in there, we wanna go ahead and scrape all that foam out and just remove it until you see a very thin layer of foam and that's totally fine. And now we are ready to pour all the liquid right back into the eggshells. For this, you want a very steady hand. So go ahead and grab the egg mixture and then one empty eggshell and then very carefully pour the liquid right into the eggshell where you can almost top it off. Once you fill at least six eggs, you wanna go back to the mixer and mix it up just a bit so nothing settles on the bottom, and then go ahead and continue and fill the rest of the eggs. Now it's time to bake your eggs, and this is a three hour process. So go ahead and turn your oven to 175 degrees Fahrenheit, and then go ahead and put all your eggs right into the oven, and you're gonna bake it for an hour and 30 minutes. After that, you're gonna go back to the oven, open it up, and rotate your eggs, and then turn your oven up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, and then bake it again for another hour and a half. And be very patient, go do your errands, go wash your laundry. It's gonna take a while, but it is well worth the wait. After the eggs finish baking, go ahead and take them out of the oven. And I would recommend letting them sit at room temperature for at least 30 minutes for the eggs to cool, or else you might burn your fingers as you try to peel the shell. So let's wait for a little bit. It's time to peel your eggs, so go ahead and carefully peel all the shells off. You can keep them in the shell and just put it in the refrigerator and save it for later, but I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go ahead and start peeling. And my green eggs are done. I'm gonna come up right to the front and show you these delicious, bouncy green eggs. Here are the green eggs, so I'm gonna go ahead and try one. Mmm. This is the perfect snack. As a kid, 
I would always go back and forth in the kitchen just reaching for these eggs and eventually it became me eating a whole dozen egg cartons. So these are very addicting. I like to think of these as like an omelet but in a hard boiled egg shell form. Definitely give these a try, you will not regret it. Mm. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make Kite Bing Lao seasoned baked eggs. Make sure you make dozens of these eggs as you can store them in the fridge for about a week but I'm sure they'll be eaten by then. Let me know in the comments below how you like to cook your eggs and I'll catch you all next time on Sang's Kitchen. Bye!